Mark Harmon, one of Hollywood's biggest treasures, is mostly known for his portrayal of Leroy Gibbs on NCIS. He once opened up about the time he thought the Elizabeth Taylor was going to get him fired from a TV movie they were working on. How'd that happen? In today's video, we're talking about this fascinating story, so let's dive in. First up, Mark Harmon tells a very interesting Elizabeth Taylor story. In an interview with Stephen Colbert, Harmon recalled the time he got the opportunity to work with Elizabeth Taylor on the 1989 movie Sweet Bird of Youth. Mark praised Elizabeth and said she was such fun and a total professional. However, she would not work a minute past her contractually obligated eight hours, after which Harmon would have to work with her stand-in. Since the stand-in wasn't an actual actress, Harmon didn't like doing this at all. He even went to the production and complained. They said nothing could be done about it. It's her contract and she can do whatever she wants after the eight hours are over. After all, who would dare cross the great Elizabeth Taylor? Of course, the production thought silence was a better option, but soon, something happened that changed Taylor's attitude during the shoots. All I have to say, one day, Taylor had been working beyond those agreed upon eight hours, and she was not happy about it. As the cast and crew were running around trying to make sure everything went smoothly, she stopped everyone and whispered, all I have to say is today I've been here two hours longer than I'm supposed to have been. Harmon was standing behind her and immediately responded by saying, all I got to say is welcome to the club. She turned around and looked at him angrily and he explained by saying that when she goes home, the rest of the cast and crew continue to work for another eight hours. According to Harmon, Taylor didn't like this comment and remained seated for 20 more minutes. She only got up once the director was ready and said action. Now, a party and a very memorable gift. After this incident, Mark Harmon thought he was done for and he was going to get fired. He had angered one of Hollywood's biggest superstars ever and he was sure she wouldn't just let this slide. However, Taylor's response was completely surprising. After this incident, she stopped leaving and kept working until everyone was done every day. Once filming was over, she threw a party for her co-stars and crew members. She also gave gifts as the guests were leaving and watched them open it. That's so wholesome. Elizabeth Taylor was truly one of a kind. She gave Harmon a very special gift as well, a solid gold watch, which was engraved with a reference to this very incident. The back of the watch said, MH, two hours, tick tock, love ET. In the eternal words of Tommy Wiseau, what a story, Mark. Fans want more Mark Harmon stories. Fans of both Mark Harmon and Elizabeth Taylor loved hearing this story. One commented that Mark should do more interviews because he has some incredible stories. Another said that they really wished her and Mark had done more movies together. We totally agree. One fan took to Twitter to praise the two actors and said that now he understands why the two had such amazing on-screen chemistry. Another pointed out that while her leaving after eight hours must have been annoying, it was completely within her rights to do so. And the way she responded to criticism was incredibly classy and that more Hollywood stars should be like her. If you haven't watched the movie yet, what are you waiting for? Both Mark Harmon and Elizabeth Taylor are absolutely fantastic in their roles and their scenes together make it a real treat to watch. Now let's talk about that time Elizabeth Taylor sent gifts to the cast of Sex in the City. This isn't the only story of the late great Elizabeth Taylor showing generosity to her co-stars. She was known for giving lavish gifts to her fans and co-workers. Apparently, she even sent gifts to the entire cast of Sex and the City. In the show, Kristen Davis's character named a dog after Taylor and also used her life story to help recover from a miscarriage. Taylor was so happy about this that she sent gifts to all the wonderful actors and actresses on the show, and Davis even got a special handwritten note. Imagine getting a note from Elizabeth Taylor herself. What an honor. Davis recalled the moment and said that she was absolutely ecstatic about receiving a note from one of her idols. She also said that it felt very warm and wonderful, and Elizabeth was even better than she expected her to be. Rest in peace, Elizabeth Taylor. May her legacy live on forever. And that's all about the time Mark Harmon thought Elizabeth Taylor was going to fire him from a movie. Now let's move on to some more related news. Now, in more related news, Mark Harmon to make a return to NCIS. NCIS fans, assemble. We were all pretty devastated when Harmon left the show last year, right? After all, 
He was the lead of the show for almost two decades, and he even saved the show from cancellation by signing on to its 19th season. He's an integral part of NCIS, and the show is just not complete without him. Even when he left the show, showrunner Steven Binder said that he was more than welcome to return whenever he wanted. And while ratings-wise, the show's done pretty well without him, many fans have expressed that it just doesn't hit the same anymore. Luckily for them, it appears that we've not seen the last of Special Agent Leroy Gibbs, as he's set to make guest appearances in the 20th season of the show. According to reports, CBS and the production are hoping to welcome him back soon. The 20th anniversary season of the show is going to be a victory lap. And what's an NCIS victory lap without Gibbs? Let's hope we get to see him struggle with technology at least one more time. Those scenes are always hilarious. NCIS star Sean Murray also confirmed that both Gibbs and Denotso could return soon. We cannot wait. This season looks like it's going to be a real blast. Next, Gary Cole unable to replace Mark Harmon. Gary Cole is one of TV's most celebrated actors ever, and he's been acting since the mid-1980s. After Mark Harmon left NCIS, his character, Alden Parker, was brought on to fill Leroy Gibbs's massive shoes. But it appears that Gary hasn't been fitting in well with the cast at all. According to informants close to the show, the 65-year-old actor has been desperately trying to become friends with his co-stars. Apparently, he tries to impress everyone by doing voices from all the animated series he's done and even brings puzzles to the set at times. He also continuously tries to upstage Mark Harmon, who is still pretty liked on set. Poor Gary, we all know how bad it feels to be the new kid at school. And not just that, ever since the show's been on hiatus, he's been texting and calling co-stars to tell jokes and suggest get-togethers. Seriously, Gary, if this is true, take a hint and leave them alone. Lastly, we confess that we love this. Wilmer Valderrama has had quite the career already. He broke out by playing the beloved character of Fez on that 70s show, and he has never looked back. He's continuously been starring in a bunch of movies and TV shows such as Encanto, Onward, and From Dusk Till Dawn. He also portrays Special Agent Nick Torres on NCIS, and his character is a fan favorite. Ever since it was announced that the beloved sitcom That 70s Show would be getting a spin-off called That 90s Show, fans have been desperate to get any news about the upcoming series, and it seems like Wilmer will in fact be joining the spin-off, and he announced this via an absolutely festive Instagram post. He broke out some boxes of his character's costumes, putting them on, and confirmed that the clothes do still fit him. The post immediately sent fans into a frenzy, who were delighted that the actor was going to reprise the role of Fez. One fan commented that they were very happy to see him back in costume, and that they couldn't wait for the show to return. Another said that this post gave them the serotonin that they needed. The show is set to come to Netflix in January, and the company is hoping that it'll make up for all the subscribers they've been losing late. After all, that 70s show is a classic, and its spin-off is sure to garner quite a bit of attention. As for us, we're super hyped for that 90s show. We cannot wait to see what Fez and the rest of our favorite characters have been up to all these years. Bring it on! And that's a wrap for this video. So what do you think of this wonderful little story that Mark Harmon has shared with us? Do let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and click the subscribe button for more videos like this. See you in the next one. This.